is always um, wild and fun and crazy, and she, like, she was the one that made the faces in the pictures. Um, had a, she was she was my best friend growing up. And I think Michaela was like 15, and she had just broken up with uh, in a bad relationship, and she said, "Dad, what should I do to get in shape?" Because she was always very athletic. So, and she had just let that kind of go. So uh, I said, well, I heard kickboxing is pretty good. And so it wasn't very much left, longer after that that she came home and said that she joined the kickboxing gym. And so she became really good. Within like six months, we were fighting all over and in real like hardcore Thai gyms and stuff. And she was just beating everybody. And then she decided that she wanted to do some boxing. So we were fighting down on Olympic at Eddie Heredia's gym. We started there and we'd go down there on the weekends and she would just uh, beat everybody that she fought. And, uh, I was Michaela's first uh, trainer. This was the gym where she first started at. And uh, she walked in, young teenager with her friend, one day. And uh, within a, a few weeks, uh, I saw that she had some real potential and had something really special in, in, in her. I could only pretty much take her to, to a certain level. I didn't uh, do international competition style training. Uh, and it, it was kind of, you know, sad to see her go. But when she got that scholarship to Northern University of Michigan, uh, we said, you know, you, that's something you don't want to miss that opportunity. And then once she trained with Al and she came back and showed him what she was learning, I, I started learning from her. My dad called up Coach Al, you know, a few times trying to get a hold of them. And he said, you know, you never had a woman in the program, but they, the women are in the Olympics now. We take my daughter. And he called me, I think I was at my boyfriend's house at the time, and he just, he said, they want you there. They want you there in two weeks. So I said, okay, and I kind of just dropped everything I was doing, you know, quit my job and all that, and packed up and went to Marquette, Michigan, which I would never even heard of. So I had no idea what I was getting myself into. But. And you know, it's been a long road since then, and the competition has just gotten so much better. Uh, she almost made it in 2012, and now she's finally made it in 2016. It's always tried to just be there, because you know, we had a kind of a split family, and they, they ended up living with me, and, you know, it's three girls and me, you know, and so I just tried to be consistent, do my best, give them opportunities. I think that's the, the key here, is the, the opportunities that she was allowed to have. I know a lot of people don't have those opportunities. Well, they didn't announce that they were letting women to the Olympics until 2010, and I remember when they announced it, we were at the Women's National Golden Gloves. And I, I looked at my dad, we talked about it, and we said, yeah, why not, let's go for it. So ever since then, that's the dream we've been chasing. I didn't realize how, how lucky I was to really have one of my weight classes be in the Olympics. I didn't realize it till later when I started meeting girls who were simply like, I can't make that weight. So there's no way I could ever have an Olympic dream because I, I can't get down to 32. I'm not big enough for 165, and I had, I had friends in the boxing world who just kind of had to give that dream up. Uh, she's great. She's a fun girl. She's uh, very disciplined, which is something I've always admired about Michaela. Is um, she is very persevering, you know. She's uh, and uh, there's nobody pushing her but herself. You know, she she drove 30 miles, 40 miles a day to come train with me. You know, and uh, that says a lot. Michaela is a fun, quirky girl with. Uh, you know, like a, a childish innocence, you know, about her, but also a, a fighter's dedication, a fighter's heart. I mean, this is only the second time that they've allowed women into the Olympics. So you walk into a gym these days and you actually see little girls, whereas when maybe we all started, you didn't, you maybe saw one girl in the gym at a time and that girl was probably you. So I think that girls are starting to see that they, they could have a future in the sport and hopefully we inspire them to continue to train and, and help grow women's boxing. Cool thing to watch because we all grew up with her and we knew that she she just had this ambition for whatever she went through. I'm looking at every single one of those girls as equal competition. I'm in a very challenging weight class, I know that, and I know that all these girls are very experienced and very accomplished and Every single one of us, I think, has a bullseye on our back. So I'm not taking any one of them for granted. Um, and I'm gonna study and treat them all equally because we're all there for a reason and we all want that medal. And just simplify it to what I'm great at and just make it intense.